So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make gifs to use on social media today and the program we're going to be using is Procreate! So around a year ago I made a video on how to make gifs to use on social media and at that time I used Photoshop to animate my gifs. You can still look at that video, I'll put the link in the description box. That method still works perfectly fine but ever since that video was published Procreate suddenly released this new function on their program where you can actually um, directly animate your GIFs on Procreate which made the process so much easier for me and this is how I've been animating my GIFs so I just wanted to show you how I do it on Procreate and the process has been much simpler for me I've actually stopped using Photoshop to animate my GIFs not saying that it's a bad way it's just been more convenient for me to do everything on one program so I make GIFs for people to use on social media say like on Instagram stories and I love when I see people use my GIFs so I would love to teach you how I do it so maybe Maybe you guys can design your own gifs for other people to enjoy. I think it's really fun to see like other artists and other people like use my gifs to decorate their photos. I find it to be a very interactive way to let people enjoy my art. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you how I do it. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, let's start with what we'll need for this little project. First, you'll need a tablet or a device you can use Procreate on. I use the iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil. Second thing you'll need is a Jiffy account. Jiffy is the place that I upload all my GIFs on and it's also the platform that gives people accessibility to your GIF designs on other social media platforms like Instagram and so on. So in other words, in order for people to be able to use your GIFs online, you'll have to do it through Jiffy. So the third thing you'll need is to be verified on Jiffy.com. I know what you're thinking. Well, on Facebook and Instagram, in order to be verified, you have to be, you know, a celebrity and stuff like that. But no, it's completely different on Jiffy.com. And the purpose of this is that once your account is verified, everything you upload on your account will be public so people can access your GIFs via the search engine and can look for your designs and to use your designs. So in order to be verified, you have to apply for it on Jiffy.com and when I did it, it was almost like three to four years ago already and back then you had to upload 10 GIFs and then they would screen through it and then give you that verification. But I've looked at like the newest and the most recent um, application processes and apparently you only have to upload five GIF designs and then go through um, a series of application process. I'll put everything in the description box below with all the correct links where you can find all the info. For me, I got my verification in like 48 hours after my application was submitted, but this was like a few years back, so I'm not sure how it is now. But yes, you'll have to get your account verified. So the fifth thing you'll need are some digital designs and I'll be showing you how I do those later. And that's pretty much it. And like I said, this is not the only way you can make an animate GIF. This is just how I do it. A lot of amazing animators out there make these amazing animations and turn them into GIFs. And well, I still have a lot to learn in terms of GIF making, but this is just how I do it. And it's the simplest way and perfect for beginners. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I do it. Start by opening a canvas. I like to work with square or horizontal canvases. And for this project, I'll be using a horizontal one. For this little demo, I'll be creating a frog GIF. So here I'm just choosing which shade of green to go with. Next is drawing the actual frog design. My idea is that the frog will be doing chewing movements and it will be the perfect gif for when people take food photos. When you're drawing your design, it's very important to think about which part of your gif you want to animate. For instance, since I want every facial feature of this frog to be animated, I want to keep each feature on a separate layer. Make sure you keep the background of your design transparent too, unless of course it's part of your design, then keep it. So here I've finished my first frame. I'm just going to save it as a PNG file and move on to the next frame. Next is my favorite part ever, animating the GIF. This is the part where you determine which parts of your GIF move and how they move. So for this specific design, I want my little froggy to blink and I want his swirly cheeks to move and also I want his mouth to move in and out as if he's chewing on something. As you can see, I'm just giving every feature of his face very subtle adjustments and that's really all you need to animate it. And there we go, the second frame's done. Just exporting it right now with a transparent background in a PNG file format. For this demo, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple and use the two frames to animate. So go ahead and open up a brand new canvas and put your two completed frames on there. Having those two frames on the same canvas tells Procreate that you want them combined into a single GIF file. Select this banner tool here, then select Share, then select Animated GIF. You'll be able to adjust the speed of the movement between the two frames here. 
Once I'm happy with the speed setting, I make sure that my GIF file has a transparent background. And then it's time to export. Ta-da, look at him. He's super blobby and super cute. So I've just logged into my Jiffy account and I'm ready to upload my design. Go ahead and click upload, then drag your design onto the upload page. You'll be shown to an upload page where you can key in all the information about your GIF design. So here on the add tags box is where you put in all the keywords people would use to search for your GIF. It's really important to key in all the relevant words because this is how people will be able to discover your designs. Then put in a correct rating for your GIF and if your GIF isn't an original design, make sure you put in the source URL as well. And once everything is done and ready, export! Once you've exported your design, you'll be able to see it on your channel page, but you won't be able to see it on other social media apps just yet because they take around 12 to 24 hours to register. So fast forward, 12 hours later, here I am checking if my new GIF is available to the public yet. Just quickly checking it on Instagram, typing in my keyword, the forest Mori, just to see if it's there. And there it is, my hungry little frog. Ah, oh, look at them. It's the frog fam. I hope you found that super useful and if you're using my GIFs and want to show me how you use it, don't forget to tag me and if you want to look for my GIFs, just look for the Forest Mori and you should find all of them. Um, again, I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching.